Radio Rahim here with John Thompson. Look, we just witnessed two warriors showing respect for each other. Uh, before the fight, you guys, it seemed like there was some tension, some animosity, but here it showed that you guys really respect each other. Just talk to me about post-fight, how you feel about Willie Monroe and the fight you just had. Um, well, about the fight, I feel like, you know, um, I went in there with a game plan. I felt like he was going to actually come at me. That wasn't the thing I actually had to, you know, um, adapt as soon as possible. Um, with that being said, I actually waited a little, a little too long to actually convert and, you know, start taking it to him. And in that essence, he knew he already was up on the scorecards and he did what he was supposed to do. You know, he started boxing, moving around, and he did the right thing. And um, I tried to capitalize off of it, but it was too late, and it is what it is. The first knockdown, you seemed really frustrated more than hurt. You pounded the pavement or pounded the <laughs> canvas, jumped back up. Did he hurt you or was it, was it a balance nah, thing? I think the first one was either one of them, one of them I tripped off his foot, another one it was like, I don't know how the heck I tripped. But um, it was like, I was like, oh, shit. I know I fell. I'm like, okay, I think he touched my arm. At the same time, once somebody touched you, period, you're going down, it's an eight count. You know, that's technical rules. So, you know, when he started calling, and I was like, all right, he got it. I was like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't nothing you can really actually be upset about. It's, that's the rules. And the second knockdown, it was a jab, but it was clean, straight to the jaw. Did that one hurt you? And at any point, did you have to clear your head? Were you dizzy in there? Nah, nah, the jab definitely didn't hurt me. I felt like, I mean, you can, y'all watched it. You know, y'all going to probably watch it again, but. You know, um, our feet got tangled up. He was southpaw at the time, and I was orthodox, and foot kept colliding. Yeah, you switched. It seems like after, um, I think in the seventh round, you switched for the rest of the fight. Was that out of frustration? Were you just trying to give him another look? Usually when a fighter switches, it, it seems like he knows he's losing the fight. He needs to change something. Um, I felt like, you know, I, I needed to change something. And, uh, well, my corner felt like I needed to change something. So they hey, said, hey, give him another look, turn orthodox. You know, it's time to turn this shit up. Uh... We down those scorecards and we need we need more punches. We need points. Obviously, with this loss, it's a bit of a setback. You're still trying to climb this ladder and break through. What's next? What do you feel like uh, you need to do to stay on the climb on this ladder? Um, I mean, only thing I can do. I can't necessarily say, you know, hey, I get back in the gym. I do more. Do that. You know, um, each opponent. You know, everybody fight everybody differently. So I just have to wait for my next opponent. You know, and uh, be playing more strategically. Thank you for putting on a great show out there. It was a pleasure to watch Radio Raheem with John Thompson.